guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting day. Today is gonna be the start of bringing the truck back to life. And I don't mean that like as in it's not working right now. I mean that as in like making it look good again. Mentioned in the, uh, I've mentioned in the previous videos that there's a lot that I want to change and a lot that I want to fix. Like I said, the brakes are really ugly. This gray grill is kind of chipped up. I've had it for about, I want to say, two years, a year maybe. This door handle is actually broken. So there's a lot that I want to fix. So we're going to start on the, some of that today. Sure, we're going to start on the brakes, the grill, and um, maybe the exhaust, and for sure the door handles. Um, so that's going to be the start and part one to bringing back the truck to life. We're going to head out to get some stuff, so we're going to take the Camaro so the brakes on that don't get hot. First, let's get a cold start. mention this i don't know why but i've been on energy drinks lately like monster has been one of my favorite drinks especially this white one about to get on the freeway i'm gonna do a little quick pull for you guys sting rips oh another ss this thing is so bad and i can't wait to make it faster like, you guys don't understand how fast this car is. Give it a little, just a little bit of juice under this bridge. It sounds good under this bridge. This thing sounds so good. And now we're back home. Um, so, I did end up going with like a simple like silver color. I think it'll look really good with the silver that's matching the grill. Um, this is gonna look good with the new wrap, trust me. We get in too deep with this video. I wanna mention two things. One is go cop your infamous stickers. I'm gonna link it up here in the top right corner and down in the description down below. Like I said, those help support the channel and will help these two builds move along faster. This one's gonna be moving pretty quick and then this one should be coming really soon too. Um, I kinda like it, I'm enjoying it as it is, but there's a lot of things that I am going to be doing, and I'll do a full video on that. Just go follow my TikTok. Um, my video is almost at 80,000, and we're almost at 2,000 followers. So go follow my TikTok. You guys see it right there, Saul Alcala underscore. Same thing as my Instagram. And also follow my Instagram. It's going to be the same exact thing. Get a cold start. This thing hasn't been started in a few days, so it's going to be pretty loud. <laughs> If it's loud, yes, it's freaking loud. As you guys can hear, that's it idling right now. So it is pretty freaking loud. Um, if you guys want to know what my exhaust setup, it's gonna be in the top right corner. I'm gonna link it to my previous video, which I mentioned everything that's done to the truck. I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit, move all the cars around, and then we'll get started. So real quick, um, for those of you guys who know about cameras, um, I'm asking you guys, um, what's a good camera setup? I do want to go with the DSLR. I'm looking at a Canon T7i, I believe it was. But let me know if there's any other better ones. I need one that will shoot good pictures, like occasionally pictures, and then mainly record. I'm going to use this as my new vlog camera. So let me know down in the comments if you guys know anything about that, because honestly I don't know that much about cameras. I'm not going to do this really like a tutorial style, I'm going to just show the things that I'm doing, so like painting the that and then fixing that and all that, but we got the primer on and jeez, it looks so much better. I'm going to do something a little different, I'm going to try to put the GoPro on my head, just for a few clips and see how it looks, and then if it looks good, I'll add it into the video, if it doesn't, then I won't, but we're going to add this, I'm going to put this on my head, so I'll see you guys on the GoPro. 
All right, and now we're just gonna do sanding. Um, just gonna do a quick little sand, um, nothing too crazy. And then we'll hit it with um, some brake parts cleaner. And um, then we'll get to masking off everything and then painting. I'm not gonna mask off the wrap too much because um, as you guys know, it's, it is getting unwrapped, so I'm not too worried about the wrap. Um, getting a little bit of overspray on it. I mean, obviously, it won't get on my paint because it's all completely wrapped. Um, so I'm going to just hit this real quick with this high grit or low grit um, sandpaper, and then we'll move on to the next thing. got the first coat of paint, and it looks so good. I'm, like, really liking how this is coming out. Looks really good. I'm really happy with the results. I'm going to put one more coat, and then that'll probably be it for this one. Um... Looks really good. Has a really like high gloss look to it, which I was kind of going for. Uh, you guys can see, let's see if it's focusing. It looks really good, especially up here. Like there's so much gloss. I don't know if it's gonna change once it dries up, but really happy with the results for not really spending any money. Like you guys could really do this shit for like 20 bucks maybe. So um, time to jump on this side and then give us some time to dry and then we'll jump to the front. Installed the door handle and got it all fixed and you guys don't understand how happy this makes me like this is one of those things where you just take for granted um because when it wasn't working it was like the worst thing ever and now that i got it fixed i'm really happy um i could be taking it out this one's kind of starting to mess up but i could hold off on that until we unwrap the truck oh i mentioned this but silver and this pink look really good and like with the new wheels, I'm kind of considering keeping this wrap a little bit longer than I intended. Oh, man. I can't wait to put the new wheels on. Um, I think it's going to look really sick, this color combo. So, I might leave it for a little bit longer than I intended. But, I don't know. It's going to be hard. A lot of you guys also asked me um, where I got or how I got the silver grill and all that. If you guys want a tutorial on how to do it, I could post up a video. Um, cause I do need to repaint this, this, and also this, and I also kind of want to paint the inner bed liner, or the inner fender liner, and, like, the stock tubs or whatever of the truck. Um, they're really ugly, and I feel like that'll kind of clean up the, the look behind the wheels and all that, so, we might do that in the next video, the grill, and also the fender liner or whatever it's called um slowly but surely we're gonna get it ready for the new look um and show season's coming up so i'm trying to get this ready for show and then that also pretty soon too so got a lot coming up in the upcoming week so make sure to subscribe we're also almost at 11,000, so please subscribe we're almost there all right so we got the brake uh caliper masked off um i'm not gonna show the process i have a whole video that you guys could check out when i did my brakes um Basically what I did is just put tape in here so it doesn't get on the rotors. Um, mask off the rotor itself so obviously we don't want um, paint on our rotors. Because um, that would be not bad but not good either. Um, so just mask off the best that you can. You can turn the wheel to the side if you guys want to get back here. You don't have to but I prefer to. So um, we're going to start painting right now. Um, throw some primer on it. Uh, make sure you guys clean every surface. I try to get as much as I could so... Um, that's the best that I'm going to be able to get um, without taking it apart and let's get started on this because I still got to do the other side. Let's lay down our first coat and get started with this. Remember, um, you guys don't have to do multiple coats of primer. I don't. I prefer just to do one and just leave it at that. We're going to start painting it with the actual color. Oh uh, man, yeah, there's not much more to it, so let's get started. really like this color, because it's like a silver metallic. Like, as you guys could see, I don't know if you guys could see. But it's like, I don't know, it's like a cool, like, almost machine colored. Which, this is like engine block paint. So I could see like this making it the block look like aluminum. I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll add one more coat and I'll do the other side off camera and then we'll get maybe started on the grill hopefully if we have time. Still have a lot of daylight so should be able to get to it. We got the final coat done on this. Um, it actually looks really good in the light. 
really like how it came out. It looks clean, simple, not too overdone. Um, obviously with the 20s you're not going to be able to see it. Like you can't see the drums through the little wheels. Um, but with the other wheels you should be able to see most of it. That's basically why I did it. Um, we're also painting the grill right now. I'm going to mask it off so I don't paint none of the pink stuff. Like I said, I am going to take it off but I don't want to paint it right now because it's not coming off like tomorrow. So I do want to keep it pretty nice. Um, we already painted the little piece that goes on the bumper. Um, so we're getting stuff done, slowly coming together. <sighs> Hopefully within the next couple days we can finish a lot of the smaller stuff we need to do. And then get her ready for a new color and the new wheels. For those of you guys who ask me how I do this, um, I'm going to keep it really simple and easy for you guys to do. Um, basically all I do is put tape on put tape like right here where the tape so after you're past that step and masking everything off you're gonna want to get some of this stuff um it's kind of like masking for painters or whatever i don't know the exact word for it you're gonna want to get a good amount roll it out and Cut it open and then tape it. Okay, so once you're done, it should look like this. You're gonna have the grill obviously masked off. Uh, cover this a little bit. So you want to just paint that and obviously that. Um, I'm going to primer it first and then I'll add the silver. Um, you guys could just add the silver or whatever color you guys want to do. Um, and that's how you do it. Probably won't get to that today but um, all I do for this is mask it off. Same, same technique. We're all finished up. Everything's back together and this looks so much better. I did not think that painting it the same color was going to be that big of a difference but I guess I just got used to seeing the busted old paint on it. And this looks so good. I'm so happy we repainted it. It definitely did. Does this front end justice? It kind of like, I don't know, it kind of pops more with the pink. Um, obviously, sadly, we're not keeping the pink. Um, but I really like it. Um, for those of you guys who are wondering, that's exactly how you do it. Today has been a very productive day. We got the brakes painted, which I didn't show you guys how it looks. You guys can't really see it with the 20s, but you guys will see it with the other wheels. Um, we got the grill painted. We got the door handle fixed. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we did. Um, pretty soon, when the wrap comes off, we'll fix some of the body panels that are kind of messed up. Probably paint the inner fender liner black so it looks clean. Um... Maybe I could just clean them, but I doubt it. It's like 12 years of dirt and grime. So, probably better off just painting it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. After that, um, put the wheels on. And after that, get the new wrap on. And 2.0 will be in progress. Um, let me know if you guys have any names for her. We need a name for her. We need a name for the Camaro. So, drop it down below. For watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to clean up this mess. Go inside because I'm kind of tired. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I know I just said that twice, but make sure to subscribe. Three times now. Um, go copy your infamous stickers in the link down below. Follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching.